Hey guys, Zach Uwak here, back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a working elevator in Roblox Studio using Click Detector. So first, you're going to obviously create the elevator. For now, we can just make a random platform here on the floor. Next, we're going to make a button. Oh, and don't forget to name all your parts. Also, I'm going to change the color to green. Next, we're going to add something to the button called a click detector. If you don't know what that means, it detects a click, as the name suggests. So now I'm going to add a script into our elevator block. Let's delete the default code. First, let's define our variables. Right here, we're telling the game what this and this is. Same with this. Here, we're making a variable for the Y position. You'll see what we use this for later. Next, we're gonna put elevator.position equals vector3.new, which is where the elevator's gonna start. And in here, we're gonna put the X, Y, and Z coordinates of where the part is. You can see it when you scroll down. I just copy and paste it from there. So next, let's create the actual function. I'm gonna call it move. And inside the function, let's create a for loop. This is the basic outline of the loop. And here's a diagram of how they work. I'm going to put for i equals 1, 15, 0 0.1, do. Next, let's put weight 0 0.1. This is to make the elevator go much smoother. And finally, for this function, we'll put elevator.position equals vector3.new. We're going to copy and paste this. And then change the y to y plus plus i. Okay, that's it for the function. Now all we have to do is call this function. So what this means is once the click detector detects a mouse click, it will call the function move. Let's test it out. So here is our button and here's the elevator. Okay, this is a little weird. I know what the problem is. I forgot to anchor the elevator.
Now let's test it again. As you can see, everything works perfectly. Now, I think this is a bit too high, but obviously you can adjust all this inside your script. So here, I've made a few changes. I've made a simple house, and I changed the script to make it a little better. Let's see how it works. So you go inside, click the button, and it takes you up exactly to the second floor. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new in Roblox Studio. And don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss a Roblox Studio tutorial. Bye.